Welcome back to the fourth video of this section. Uh, we're actually gonna deviate a little bit uh, from what we were doing earlier because we need to make a bracket uh, system kind of in the backpack here to hold the barrel itself and put a mechanism for rotating it. And we're also gonna make the bracket system here to hold the basket with the balls in it. And then after that, we'll go ahead and start working on the motors. But for right now, let's just get rid of these. We're just going to grab them and we're going to push H. Go into this system here. We'll grab this here. And let's put our cursor there with Shift S. And I think we're going to go ahead and just start with plane this time. So we're going to put it on there. We're going to push R. We're going to rotate on the Y axis 90 degrees so that it's flat the way we want it. We can actually move it out so we can see it better. And this will just give us uh, the bracket system that we need for bolting, stuff like that. We'll probably make uh, another bracket uh, portion up here with a hole through it for the motor to go through, maybe the bolting system for it. But for right now, let's just do something basic so we can get these set up. So we're going to grab these, extrude out on the Y, grab this one, extrude out on the Y. This one will be a little bit longer. Go ahead and grab these, put, we'll put four. <clears throat> the reason we're going to put four on those is we're going to extrude these and these like so let's go ahead and extrude s z and these will encompass basically where the wheels will connect to so now that we have these set up let's go ahead and grab our vertice select tool and we're going to grab one more. We're going to put one right down the middle. We'll grab this one, this one, push S, Y, and we're going to get these kind of centered about like that. Grab those three. And then we can grab these three, S, Z. Grab the middle ones. And we'll SD on those. And this will just give us a little bit of a rounded shape. Like so. And you know what? Let's go ahead and add one more here. One more here. We'll grab these. And we'll just... Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and... Put one there. One there. Actually, we're not going to do that. We'll take those out and we'll just bevel that. That'll work even better. So basically, this will be our backing plate or connection plate for all of the parts that we're going to work on. We can grab the whole thing, extrude it on the Z. Or excuse me, we're going to extrude it on the X. Add a little bit of thickness to it. Grab this one, this one, grab all these corners, and we're going to control B those and round them up a bit. All right, so that should start our back plate. And I'm thinking maybe this is too thick. Let's grab this whole back section here and just move it forward so it's not quite so thick. There we go. All right. And then this will be our backing plate.
like so. Alright, so this will be the bracket system where we can connect everything to. And I think <clears throat> we can go ahead and add a couple loop cuts. Grab you. Like so. Extrude those out. Like this. Trying to figure out a way so I can get these just the way I want them. That's too much. Let's go minus point eight. eight minus. Okay, so that'll work. So basically all I'm doing here is I'm just adding in a loop cut, clicking it once to get it to turn green so I can move it around. And I'm gonna do 0.8 minus to get it in the location I want it to, then go ahead and commit that. I'm gonna do that with all of these. 0.8 minus. Just go ahead and let's just get rid of these faces on the inside. Faces, and then we will connect them back together. Like so. We have one more there. That looks pretty good. So I think we're actually going to round these up just a little bit. Oops. Just a little. Just SX to move it out a little bit. And then we can grab all of these, the whole loop, and just move them out a little bit. And we can actually grab these ones as well. And just a little bit on those. Round it up just a little bit. All right, so this will basically be the bracket channel. And this will be our barrel pivot, which we'll add shortly. Right now, let's bring back our wheels. Let's see what we have. All right, the wheels are in the right place. Everything's going to have to move forward a little bit. I'm thinking the entire bracket system can actually be a little bigger. Let's grab it, move it forward a little bit. Grab. Let's go ahead and make that backing plate a little thicker again. Like we originally had it. All 
these, make them out more. About right there. Do believe that'll work for us. Uh, let me think. Uh, I'm wondering, maybe we should make this a little more angled. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Actually, add two more loot cuts. Each of these, just drop them in the center. Cancel. Rotate. Cancel. So, biggest problem I see here is that these are all on an angle, and an angle that I really don't want them on. So, you see here, they're a little bit of angle. So, if we grab those. And we go SX0, that'll straighten them out. Let's get all of those straightened out. And now we can move them up and get a slightly rounded shape. So if we round, want to round it out just a little bit more, we can actually add a loop cut in the middle of all of these. And we're going to add one here. In this one, we're also going to period eight. Do the same thing here. Period eight. Oops once, period 8. Let's do all of them. And we'll do this one. Go back into our front view. Let's grab all of these. I'm going to scale those on the X. And then this one will scale on the Z just a little bit. Still, 
Straighten these up on the Z. And let's see. Still not liking that bottom part. Get it. That's what we need to do. Just get those little rotation. And I can live with that. Oops. This one, let's make it just a little bit bigger so they're not touching. So that should get us our bracket system. I think we can actually go ahead into one and just bring this whole part in more so that it matches. Oops, I am not in mirror mode. Go into mirror to make sure you get everything. Grab these, pull them back in. Not like that. I think that's connecting. That should work. Okay, so now we have our bracketing system. We have the system for guiding where the ball goes. We'll have a bracket here with a pivot. That'll just be for the barrel up and down. And then we'll have a funnel here with a basket for the balls. So let's go ahead and shade that smooth to get that smooth. I think I can actually round those up just a little bit more. Let's do that. Let's go back into one. Go back into here. And let's just move these up more. And they don't have to be perfect. This is something you're only going to see for a split second, and most of it will be hidden with all the other stuff. I do think that'll work for us. Let's go back here and let's see. Yep, I think that will work just fine. They are no longer touching. Uh, that one's touching a little bit. And that one as well. All right, let's go ahead and select this whole piece, bring it back down just a little bit. And we can scale it on the Y. And we do have the center points there. Maybe a little more centered. About right there. All right. Uh, I think that'll work for us. Alright, so that's our bracketing system. We're going to make another bracket for the back. That will contain the bolt system for the motors, because the motors will be sticking out the back here and here. We will also have another motor portion here for rotating the barrel. And then we have the one for actually moving the whole turret top around. So... For right now, the way that everything's set up, we're going to build everything on the Y, and we have this front leg here, and this portion here is going to be our front with our barrel, and then this will have our big basket for it, and we'll add a piece connecting in, we'll add a bracketing system here with a rotatable uh, barrel of some sort, we haven't quite figured out what I want to do there yet. So in the next one, we'll go ahead and start working on that, we'll get the motors done get them in place and then we'll start getting the barrels set up 
and the basket setup, and then we'll just start fine tuning a few things, adding a little bolts here and there, stuff like that. And then we'll go ahead and start working on the texturing. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.